Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Senza Tempo Cani Corso. So I'm here with Patina and um, and my boy here Kubrick, aka Kubo, aka Kubalicious. And um, pst, ah, ah, tch, tch, tch. don't be don't be eating on stuff like that. No, um, we're a bunch of dirty smokers, set because that's the only. And I'm not saying that all smokers are dirty, but these guys particularly are because they keep leaving all their butts all over the ground. Um, but anyway, um, and the dogs keep trying to eat them and that's like not good, it's poisonous. So, right, sitting here doing some socialization with the dogs. Um, like I said, I've got Kubo here and Patina. And um, Kubo's been out more and he's been socialized more, but Patina, not so much. As uh, her first time out, she did pretty well so far. I started off um, outside um, farther away in this uh, grass seating area in a different video. And then we went ahead and we came inside and she did pretty well. She um, let people pet her, but overall was still um, had a little bit of, you know, anxiety, I would say. So just sitting here in front of the door to the Home Depot while people come in and out so that she can recognize and understand that just because there's people around it doesn't mean they're going to want to be with her or mess with her or that they're a danger or that they're going to pressure her or anything like that. Hi there. May I? Yeah, sure. Hey. Hello. 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 Good boy. You a good boy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, no. Here you go, babies. Thank you. Kubo, you gonna beat her up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you have a good day. See? And that's what it's about. So, we get some... You better get out of there. I don't know what you got, but I don't like it. So, get it out of your mouth. Come on, come on, get out of there. Come on, get out of there. I don't want him under there. Um, so, as you saw, a little insecure about it, but she did walk up. Um, she did allow him to pet her. And then um, she went, she moved back when she wanted to. Her tail was wagging. Um, overall, that's a positive experience. And then he left. And so she gets, there's high pressure in that moment, but she did well. She allowed herself to be pet. Um, she retreated when she wanted to, and then he moved on. The pressure went away. She's fine. So overall, that's a really good experience. Very happy about that. And we're just going to keep having these experiences. As you see, she's laying down now. That's better. That's what we want. Hey, Kubo, get out of it. Kubo, stop. No. So I don't want Kubo... Um, I don't want his head anywhere near the ground right now because he's um, looking I'm using my leg to block both of them from going underneath my seat because a lot of trash under there I wish that this was a cleaner area but unfortunately this is the only seating area um, by a door where I can actually kind of do this training <clears throat> alrighty I'm just using my foot to block the sun is beating down on my face, which kind of sucks. So I probably am not going to stay out here too. Ah, 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 ah. See, I got to pull him back. Get back over here. Come on, Kubo. Get away from that. Stop that. Steady trying to look um, for something to grab onto. No. I blocked him. Don't you do that. Don't you try to ground score. Ah, ah, ah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, when I was younger, we used to call it ground scores. We used to tell the dog, no ground scores. Right? No ground scores, no ground scores. Which basically means no eating anything up off the ground. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that front. They're both really good looking dogs. So I like how he's really confident and secure in himself. And he helps her to be the same way, which is a very positive thing. Here we have another loud cart. That's a good thing. We want that. Look at the door going back and forth. I don't know about you guys, but many times I've had dogs that, that will shy away from those opening doors. It freaks them out. And um, just sitting here, we're kind of working that out right now. <clears throat> and I will say, you know, it's a whole day. Like, it's a... I've been working with Kubrick since this morning. I took him to Tractor Supply. And then I was talking with Reese, and she was like, you know... She's like, I think that you should work with Patina, too. <clears throat> because <clears throat> if you don't, you could kind of lose out on it because of her temperament. It's not that she has a bad temperament. She has a high-energy temperament. And... Um, and reactive uh, with like a reactiveness very very much like a like a working she has a, a working type temperament and um, and so anyway very alert and um, and so she needs to be socialized properly in her environment so that she can be out in public and not have any issues and, and the reality is that that's very much all Corso like to some degree very few Corso just right out of the box are super friendly and loving and just accepting of people. It's really not a trait of theirs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually see if I can't actually do a walk with you guys. Cause I was able to do it earlier and I think I'm gonna be able to now. But let's see, hold on. Oop, I dropped it. Okay, all right. Here we go, let's try it. She's going to be difficult right now. All right, come on. All right. So I'm using my hand. Maybe I should use his instead. Come on. Uh, we're just walking. Doing training. I'm going to move her over. Okay, hold on a second. It's harder to do because my, um, hold on a minute. Okay, I tried and failed to um, show you guys leash training with these two and filming at the same time. It was literally impossible. They're just not trained enough. And my hands were just going all over the place and I was going to drop my phone and I began to get frustrated. And the, la the last thing you want to be when you're training young puppies is frustrated because they pick up on that. And then they act up even more. And so you don't, do you don't achieve anything. So I had to put the phone away so that I could focus on the priority, which is the training. Um, and, um, and just to make sure that I've not backed up any work because um, Patina started to kind of act a little bit of a fool when I got frustrated and so I wanted to make sure that I brought her back out and that we end on a positive note so we're doing some more socializing in front of the door um, and I think that and then I think we'll be good. She's stretched out so I think that we are good but um but anyway, but I didn't want to end her first training day on a negative. I did get her sorted out with the training, um, but it still left her like not in the best mood. Like she did what she was told, but she wasn't in a great mood. Hi. And, um, and so anyway, so it's just a little unsure and I didn't want to leave with her feeling unsure. What I'm really hoping to find is somebody that'll come by and just be very loving and affectionate. Um, and just, and then, um, and then she 
can kind of get in on some of that affection and then we'll leave. So I think it's always really important that when you're training a dog that you try to end on a positive note because you want that dog to associate the training with um, in, in a positive way. Now some people would say to do it with a treat, but I I don't agree. I think that it, I think it's I think it's deeper than that. Um, you can't just end on a treat. It, mentally, emotionally, the dog needs to be um, in in a positive way, and so that's all I'm waiting on. And so I'm waiting for her to kind of calm down. What I don't want, if you're not careful, is you'll have a dog that's rushing to get away. Uh, um, no, I don't know what you got in your mouth, but no, you can spit it out. It's not food. Quit. Shh, quit it. And, um, and so anyway, he is just being a punk. He knows I started filming, and so he... Um, he pays attention and he's like, okay, she's filming. Now I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to get into everything I shouldn't be. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Kubrick. I'm talking about you, yes, Mr. Intelligence. So, like I said, mentally, I don't want a dog that is like, that is just so happy to get away from here. I don't want a dog that's running to my vehicle, that's scrambling to get up into my vehicle. You know what I mean? Like, I want a dog that really had a very fun positive experience here and is leaving after that and um, because you can see right now she kind of scooted back some so I can tell that she's really not happy about her experience thus far and I want I don't want that I want her to end on a positive note so Alrighty. Anyway, it may take a while for us to find that person, but I'm sure we will. And what I may do is kind of push her out from from underneath here a little bit. Because I don't really want her thinking that it's okay for her to hide in there. But I'm not going to do that until I see how her response is. If somebody's petting on Kubrick and she comes out on her own, then I'm, I'll be okay with it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> That's Kubrick, and that's Patina. How old are they? Uh, he's about 15 weeks old, and she's more, I think actually she's like four, he's like 14, and I think she's more like four or five months old now. There's a pretty significant age gap between them. Kubo. Kubo. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, sorry, did he it's get you? <laughs> Yeah, he's a sweetie. Yes, you are. <laughs> he said, "Big old ham, you're a big old ham, Kubo." They're Connie kind of Corso Italian Mastiffs. Thank you. Thank you for letting me pet them. Absolutely, no. Thank you for helping socialize them. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on, babies. And now we end it on a positive note. We just got our affection. I'm happy about that. And so we're gonna go. I'm letting them go on a loose lead because I don't have um, two hands. Alrighty. And uh, that's not good, but whatever. Poor Kubalicious. Let me get him. There we go. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. There we go. Look at her confident. Tail is up, not down. She's just prancing. I like to see that. She's happy. She's trying to play with stuff, playing with him. I like to see that. Happy, happy day. We're good. We got exactly what we wanted. We're ending on a positive note. Fantastic. All right. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk at you later. Bye.